Hello, this is Lou Eckert at Agile Technologies. In this short video, I'll show you how to set up a frequency mask trigger so that recordings of your spectrum can occur only during times when a signal level appears that's greater than your frequency mask, which is essentially a limit or a limit line. So <coughs> to start this, let me show you how to set up the actual limit, the frequency mask trigger itself. So I have a start frequency uh, of 2.26 gigahertz and a stop frequency of 2.66 gigahertz. And my limit line is a little bit smaller than that span. So I'm starting the limit at 2.36 gigahertz and stopping it at 2.56. So that it's just right around this spectrum that I'm interested in. If you see spectrum beyond that, they will not cause the recording to occur if a signal appears outside of that limit line. Okay, <coughs> so from, uh, let's exit out of this. What I'm going to do is to walk you through the process of creating the mask, saving it, and recalling the mask. So if we go to Frequency Mask Configuration, again, this is under Recording. So we're in Spectrum Analyzer mode. We go under Trace, Record, Playback Setup, Frequency Mask Trigger Configuration, and then I'm going to Edit a Mask or Create a New Mask. So you can set up the mask using the up and down keys and or from this remote desktop connection you can actually click inside of the the uh, display okay so you want the limit to be on you want the limit to be an upper limit you want the limit to be a fixed limit and you want to set your start and stop frequency for the limit also the frequency range that you span is set under the frequency distance button. Start and stop or center and frequency span. Okay. So once we have the limit uh, final, we can save the mask. If we save the mask, right now I've already saved it, so I'm not going to do that again. Actually, it looks like it saved it again. But I can recall the mask, and I'll show you how to do this. So this is the mask, Wi-Fi. That's the one that I wanted to recall. So now I have the mask displayed. It's saved, and I can recall that mask. That mask is separate from uh, the instrument save. So if you save a, a trace plus state, that mask is not saved in there. You need to sa save that separately so that you can recall it separately. So now we'll go into the recording uh, session. We'll start a new session. And so let's see here. Close the session in order to start a new session. So we now have a new session set up. <coughs> I've got uh, the recording set up to be recorded for 30 seconds. And my goal is to record only those times where the mask exceeds the limit, or the signal coming in exceeds the frequency mask limit. Okay, I have an antenna connected to my analyzer. And <laughs> hopefully my Wi-Fi, uh, my home Wi-Fi signal will appear above the limit at some point. <coughs> and it looks like it will be. It's a bursted signal. Okay. So we go back under Trace, Record, Playback Setup. We want the Frequency Mask Configuration. We can edit that and save it and recall it. And then we go under the Recorder Player. We want to Record Playback Setup and Frequency Mask. Let's see, what else can we do? Recording Configuration. We want Frequency Mask trigger on and we want 
the segment count to be 1. That's important. If you don't have that segment count turned on, uh, this is not going to work properly, and you won't see uh, the recording occur uh, whenever signals are above the mask. Okay? So again, recording time 30 seconds. We're looking at raw data. We have recording interval to set to minimum and segment count turned on with count equal to 1. Let's go ahead and start the uh, recording. So here we go. We are now recording. Remember, we're only recording during intervals that the signal appears above the uh, the frequency mask. Hopefully, it will. So come on, let's uh, hope for the Wi-Fi. There we go, the Wi-Fi signal uh, to exceed the uh, the limit. Okay. Notice over here we indicate that we are still recording. That's going to occur for 30 seconds, and then it will pause. So now it's paused. We could either resume again, or for me, I'm just going to stop, and I want to play back the recording. Now, what I hope to see in this recording, uh, when I play it back, is only those times that the signal exceeded the uh, limit. And so here we have it. So we're only seeing the signals and recording a long period of time, this can be days, where um, the only recording that occurs is when you exceed the limit. So here's the playback. Notice it's going into a loop, so you're just going to see this over and over. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. You have a great day.